What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to a video. So, uh, okay. This is just fucking hilarious. So if you've seen my Instagram post, uh, you will know this. Uh, but if you haven't already, here's a fucking video of it. So, this is the worst ever... This is just, just, just the worst fucking description for a video game I've ever seen. And more importantly, a great game. You know, Bioshock Infinite. So I have the website right here. Uh, Oceanofgames.com. It's a great website to get games, by the way. Uh, yeah, you use it for piracy and stuff. But if you've already got the game, you don't want to rebuy it. I've, I've already downloaded a game from here once. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to get Walking Dead stuff going down. Alright. So the first thing you're going to realize, it's not Bioshock Infinite. It's Bioshock Infinite, according to these people. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Bio... If you fuck up a title of your own game that you're that you're uh, advertising on this website, yeah, my God, I'm gonna need some water. I I I'm gonna fucking need it. Whew. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Bioshock Infinite is presented by the developers of. Of Irrational Games. Yes. Irrational Games. <laughs> Woo! Uh, the storyline and plot of this game is awesome. Uh, it is. I'm not gonna lie. It's fucking amazing. But, of course you'd fucking say it's awesome. It's your website. And you're trying to get people to download your game. That you have on here. So, obviously you're gonna fucking say it's awesome. You're not gonna say, oh, this game is... It, 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 it's shit. You're not going to say this game is shit. You're not going to say this game sucks. It's, it's bad. You know. You're going to fucking try. You're, you're going to try everything you can to sell this game. You're going to try your best to get people to download this game. So, I, I, of course, anybody would call it awesome. Even if it's not. You know? I mean, this game is fucking beautiful. But, uh, even if it wasn't. I would still try to sell it as it's the best game ever, you know. The story revolves around a character, <clears throat> Booker, uh, Booker DeWitt. You couldn't even call him Booker DeWitt if you're doing a fucking overview of Bioshock Infinite. At least have the name of the main character, for fuck's sake. Who seeks revenge after the sacrifice of his very close friend. He is looking up for the people who did experiment on him, and he is seeking revenge out in the daylight. That's all bullshit! <laughs> he doesn't seek revenge. You know, he goes to a lighthouse, and gets, like, strapped to a chair after he, he's, and stuff like that, and he gets sent flying into fucking, uh, Columbia, and, yeah, there is no revenge. It, it, okay, this is how you know nobody knows what they're talking about. Because if, if anybody's played Bioshock Infinite, you would know this. And even if you haven't, you can at least uh, just watch this video and be like, huh, this is all bullshit. Just for clarification, not only have I played this game, I beat it. I beat the main campaign, you know, the main game. I also beat the DLC where you go back into Rapture. You know, I have beaten that part of the DLC as well. So, yeah, I, I know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> yeah, granted, it's been a while. So, if, if there are some things that I say that are wrong, that's why. I have not played it in fucking couple years. Because uh, my PS3 has a goddamn conniption. If I try to fucking uh, play a high processing game on it. And also my controller sucks ass. So there's that. Uh, but there is no sacrificing going on. Uh, maybe later on in the game. But that's not what the game's about. He And he is looking up for the people 
Nobody's doing experiments on him. Okay? And he is seeking revenge out in the daylight. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Out in the daylight? I, I, okay, my, my brain just fucking poof! Exploded. Uh, the best thing about this game is the graphics and the high quality sound effects. Oh, so you're basically saying that Bioshock Infinite sucks. You just said it was awesome. And now you're basically saying the best thing about the game is the graphics and high quality sound effects. Let me make something perfectly clear here. Graphics and sound does not make a good game. It enhances the game, sure. You know, I'm not gonna deny it makes the game better and stuff. But you can have a game that has the best graphics ever. You know, that, that makes it look like you're actually playing a movie. Okay? Like Call of Duty or Battlefield or Halo or something like that. The graphics on newer hardware or whatever. Yeah, sure. But the game might suck because the gameplay is not good. The controls are bad. You know, I mean, it's not just about the sound effects. It's not about the graphics. It's not about, you know, minor details like that. They enhance the game, like I said, yes. However, it's not always about the graphics. I mean, fuck, most games I've played are not about. You know, graphics. Fuck, the best games that I've ever played, you know, Minecraft and some indie titles. Their graphics are not realistic, and some of them are pixelated. You know, the game's mostly about pixels, you know, Minecraft and blocks and stuff. But that's the best game, That one of the best games ever, you know, it, and that goes to show it's not about graphics. Also, some of the best games... Uh, back in the day, like Super Mario Brothers on the NES, uh, Mario World, you know, Super, uh, Super Mario World, uh, Metroid, even. Even fucking Doom, okay? The graphics are not as good as they should be. But think about the time period when they were released. But that doesn't stop them from being awesome because the games, the controls are great. The gameplay is great. So it's not always about the graphics or the sound effects. That's my mini rant for the day and some advice for you guys and gals. You can hear the sound of every single bullet. Yeah, if you fucking turn up the audio, if you turn on the sound on your computer or your, your uh, PS3 or Xbox or whatever you're playing the game on, yeah, you can hear the fucking, you can hear everything. It's, it's a fucking no-brainer. And brings the, the whole new level of reality. I'm done. I, 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 I think this fucking description broke me. All right, this this fucking broke me uh, to no end. I'm gonna see if I'm still recording audio. Ay -ay 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 -ay! Okay, I'm still. <laughs> There's a little test there, but uh, the, a whole new level of reality. Going back to what I said before. Just because the graphics and the sound effects are good, doesn't mean the game is. And it is nice to have great graphics, but it's not always about that. It's not all about the graphics. And a whole new level of re Okay. I don't know about you. I mean, yeah, the game is great and all. I love it. But... I don't feel like I'm actually out in Colombia killing people or anything else. I don't feel like I'm out there doing things. I don't feel like I'm I'm Booker DeWitt. 
I mean, that that's something else, but I, I just don't... So that's... <laughs> Bullshit. Most of the maps are the best. You just fu- Okay. Wow, what, what, what is it? Is it the fucking graphics and the sound effects? Or is it the maps? Now let me get something straight here. Make up your fucking mind here, website. Or whoever is doing the, uh, the, the descriptions. Also, what fucking maps? Y you know, what maps are you even talking about? I mean, you're talking about the DLC? I mean, you should be talking about the main game, if that's the case. But also, why the fuck are you bringing maps into this? This isn't Call of Duty. This isn't Halo. Now I get the campaign. It's... It's... It, uh, okay. That's not right at all, all right? If you, I mean, if you guys and gals want it to feel like it's a map or call it a map, you can. That's not what it is, but I don't, just to please these Ocean of Games people. Uh, but in Bioshock Infinite, it feels like you are in a ma Why? Why? What part of Bioshock Infinite makes me feel like I'm in a maze? Okay, I, 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 that's, this is only the first goddamn fucking paragraph. I think, I think it's a paragraph. I don't fucking know what it's called. I'm not an English person. But, you get the idea. It, it, we already started out with bullshit. Uh, that is not even close to what the game represents and what the game is about. Okay, so, so far... Uh, the things that they should have mentioned were, are not mentioned. And then, that, spoiler alert, they don't mention anything that's actually relevant to the game. They don't mention the guy's name. They don't mention, uh, anything that is relevant. They don't mention it being a first-person shooter. They don't mention it, be, yeah, yeah, you got screenshots, but, I mean, some parts of games, there's one or two sections that are FPS, and... You know, some other parts of the game are mostly in third person or something else. You know, or, or like a Skyrim. Yeah, it can be first person, but you could change perspective. Or fuck even Minecraft, even. Uh, so, uh, just call it a first person shooter. Also, what about where the game takes place? What timeline does the game take place? Like... It takes place in World War One, around that area of time. Hence, some of the guns that you find in the game and that you you fire, pretty much you, you shoot. Uh, they're old-fashioned guns, and they don't mention that at all. They don't mention the actual story. They don't mention some other characters that are relevant, like Elizabeth, they don't mention her at all, they don't mention other things that they should be mentioning. So, so far, this fucking goddamn, this so-called overview is not being very overview-like. A fucking five-year-old who's never played a video game before could probably do a better job at describing this. And if you give me, if you give me a chance to fucking fix all this, I can, and I probably will. Because I don't want to lead people astray here. I don't want people to, that, that's why I'm making this video. I, I, I know a lot of people, most people have played Bioshock Infinite and the other games like 1 and 2. But, for those who haven't, and that are thinking about it, I don't want you guys and gals to be led astray. You know, I don't want you guys and gals to be like, Oh, okay, so, based on what I'm seeing here, it's it's something else. I want you guys and gals to know what the game is actually about and what the game actually represents. And the features that the game holds. Because even the fucking features that they say right right here are not good. Uh, they, don't, they don't even... Uh, but, but, yeah, 
it's not accurate. Most of the people who played Bioshock Infinite loved it. Yeah, that is true. Uh, because of its sound effects and high quality. Oh! Okay. Uh, they are really trying to sell me on this whole high quality graphics and sound effects, aren't they? Again, that's not what makes a video game a video game. It's not what makes a game good. But this game isn't... Okay, this is probably one of the more truer, uh, truer things that they've said. Uh, but this game is an addiction. Yeah, when I first played Bioshock Infinite, it was actually hard for me to put it down. Because I was so invested in the story. And actually... I mean, yeah, that might be the case with some people. They may love the game because of the sound effects and quality of the graphics. That That's that's fine. But for me, I love the game because of the characters. I love the game because of the music. I love the game because of the gameplay, the controls, the overall feel of the game. I love it because it's a first-person shooter. I love it because of where it takes place. I love it because it's an actual adventure that I feel like I'm a part of. I may not feel like I'm Booker DeWitt himself, but I do feel like I am an adventure with him. You know, and I feel like I'm going into all these places that I'm going to. And that's why I love Bioshock Infinite. It's a fucking beautiful game. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of it. It's, it's, it's worth it. You may sometimes not find your way out of this... Meow! It's not a maze! Why are they. St <sighs> My fuck. They've never played. But they don't even know what Bioshock Infinite is. <laughs> and yet it's on their fucking website to download. So. Yeah. Alright, let's make sure I'm still recording. Yay! Bacon! <laughs> Alright, uh, otherwise this game is awesome. Yeah, it is. But again, of course you're gonna fucking say that because you're trying to get people to download the game. And the rating of it on IGN is very high. Does that make a fucking difference? I, in a way it does, yes. I mean, if a high awesome company like IGN is rating a video game like this, uh, or any video game high, that means that if they like it, you might like it too. Who knows? Uh, if you like game, which is based on action and revenge... No! It is not based on revenge. Get your head out of the fucking toaster and actually play the game. Then try The Witcher 2 Assassin's Creed. I've never played The Witcher. Alright, let's be honest here. I have never heard... Of the Witcher series until Witcher 3 came out, which was a, a couple years ago. So, yeah, I actually. Oh no, never mind. It's a Shadow of War poster on my door. But I thought that The Witcher was something else than it actually was. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But what I'm trying to get at is these people I don't think have ever played the game. I don't think anybody even knows... Oh, okay! Uh, Bioshock Infinite Free Download Game Setup. This is, it's a... Okay, okay, finally! I forgot about that. It is a first-person shooter game. Yeah, that is true. So, at least I got that part right. I was wrong in assuming that... Uh, so I didn't even read the fucking... Th I, I'm, I'm only reading the overview. But they don't mention that in the overview. But they repeat... The fact of being in a maze and fucking high quality sound effects and graphics. <laughs> the storyline of this game is based on sac it's No, it's not. It's not based on sacrifice and revenge. Ugh. Bioshock Infinite Features. Uh, following are the features that you will experience after playing Bioshock Infinite on your machine. You could have called it a computer. You could have called it a PC. 
You could have just called it anything but your machine. I mean, what are you playing? PC version of Bioshock on the fucking PS3 or Xbox? I I, I don't even know anymore. Yeet. Okay. So here's what the game features. Heavy fire powers. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, there are guns and stuff, but... I, bleh, some chemical reactions increase your strength. You mean vigors? Perfect aim helps you to save your ammo. Perfect aim? If you aim down the sight, yeah, but... I, 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 anyway, these are mostly features of almost any FPS. Halo, Heavy Fire Powers, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Bioshock, uh, any game that's an FPS, or even a shooter in general, uh, would, like, you know, like Gears of War, Heavy Fire Powers. That, that's basic for any FPS game. Uh, some chemical reactions. That's basically vigor. Uh, perfect aim. Oh my god! Why? I, I just still don't get it. Perfect aim helps you to save your ammo? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Also, saving your ammo. Like, you're going into fucking war just to get a piece of ammo. Be like, I'm saving you. I'm saving you. I'm gonna put you in my gun and I'm gonna use you. You do your best work out there, uh, pistol ammo. You do your best work. Uh, human interaction is done at its best. What human interaction? What the fuck are they saying? What human interaction? Okay, Booker DeWitt and, and, uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, that's cool, that's fine. Whatever. And maybe some other characters along the way. But the, it's not, I, I... I, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, ass, ball, suck my nuts. Okay, that is nothing. That is not what, the, again, what the game is about. And you think it is, but it's not. You, you are a website that has no idea what Bioshock Infinite is all about. Uh, and here's the most important thing. I think is the thing that actually is the most true around here, aside from the game being an FPS they mentioned at the very beginning. Character plays an important role in the story. Yes, that is true. Booker DeWitt does play a, um, a very important role. He's the main fucking character. The main fucking character. Of course, he is going to be an important role. You know? And, and, and so is Elizabeth, the uh, fucking... Uh, you know, the, the, the side character, but it's still she still plays an important role. Uh, so, do watch... The, what story sessions? What the flying fuckery fuck is this? Alright, uh, so the demo loadout. They even have references. It's called Vigor, not Chemical Reaction Increasing Your Strength. And they don't mention the gear at all until you get to this particular uh, thing. So... Oh, yeah! Skyline! They don't mention that at all. Okay, so... Fucking... Skyline. Okay, so here's how this works. You have a hook hand... Or not a hook hand, but you have... A... Hook blade thing. It's like it's basically a melee weapon. You can use it to slash enemies and stuff. It's basically like a glove or something. Uh, but the damn thing is magnetic, as Booker says. You need to use that in some parts of the game. So, they don't mention the skyline at all. The skyline is an important part of the game. And I'll mention more about that if I can get the game going. If I can actually play it on here and record gameplay. And they also mention some other things uh, here that they don't whatsoever in this whole entire fucking review, this overview. Uh, and... Okay, here's where I draw the fucking line of how insane this shit is. This makes no fucking sense. Okay. Bioshock Infinite. Official game system requirements. Oh, I bet. 
following are the minimum requirements of Delta Force 2. <laughs> you had one fucking job and you fucked it up. Delta Force 2. <laughs> That's the best thing about this overview. And the requirements. This is the, this is the best thing about the fucking article here. Uh, Delta Force 2. <laughs> and this is what kind of makes me uh, question. Is this really for Bioshock Infinite? Because if it says Delta Force 2... How the fuck am I supposed to know if it's for actual Bioshock Infinite or if it's for Delta Force 2? I have no fucking idea. Operating systems, Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 8.1. They don't mention Windows 10? They, they don't fucking mention 10? Whoa! Okay, I just wanted to make a test video. But not a test video, a test right there. There we go. <laughs> what am I even doing? So, yeah, there's no Windows 10. Uh, processor dual core 1.9 gigahertz ram 1 gigabyte hard disk space 20 gigs uh graphics cards uh direct x10 compatible hci radeon uh at least this is just the probably the, yeah this is the minimum requirements uh i hate to see what the maximum requirements are <laughs> it could be like Fucking NVIDIA, GeForce, GTX, 1080i, 1080p, 1080 everything. Ooh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, the, the Radeon uh, 3870. I think this computer actually runs on Radeon uh, so far, the ATI. Uh, but I'm not sure which one I'm actually currently at. So hopefully it's good enough to run this game if the specs and the requirements are good if they're actually legit because like I say Delta Force 2 <laughs> Nvidia 1800 or not, not no, no 8800 GT Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics so there's that and there's the download you can download the game I wouldn't mind doing that right now actually uh, but I'm gonna wait until I get the video done uh, click below click below button to start blah 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 it is a full game of course. Why else would it be fucking 20 gigabytes? If it was the demo, it wouldn't be as much. Uh, just download it and play it. We have provided full link set of the game. Alright, that's cool. I'll do that later, like I said. Uh, but that is it for this video, guys and gals. I just wanted to fucking show you that ridiculous overview of Bioshock Infinite. It's not what the game's about at all. It has nothing to do with revenge, nothing to do with sacrifice. They don't mention Booker DeWitt. They don't mention uh, where the game takes place. They don't mention anything that is actually important. That if I was actually doing an overview of the game to try to sell people uh, or try to get people to download the game, I would have put. You know, I would have put the game as an FPS or first-person shooter, which it did at the very beginning, uh, set during World War One or in a World War One era kind of thing, where uh, Booker DeWitt goes into Columbia and you know gets things done I, mean, I don't know um i would i would mention all that stuff and i would also mention the side characters that are actually important they're missing other parts of the story arc but i know that's not the whole thing i know they're not supposed to be do really doing that unless they really wanted to because i mean they want to do a basic summary of the game i get that but they did it so fucking poorly it's fucking hilarious That was something. That was a good read, guys and gals. That was a fucking beautiful read. I'm still going to download Bioshock because, I mean, I know what the game's about and I, I fucking love it. I mean, but it, I, I would also download it even if I never played it before or uh, if I never heard of it. Because I, I just wanted to see what kind of bullshit would be in the game. 
if I'm going by what that says. But, you know, like I said before, don't go by what they say. Don't, just don't take what the review says or what the, the overview says to heart. It's not what the game's about. It's not at all uh, what the game's about. And even if it was, it's not focused enough to be a main part of the game. So, just take that into account when you're downloading this game. And it kind of makes me wonder, how bad did they fuck up Bioshock 1 and 2? You know, the over overviews of Bioshock 1 and 2. How bad did they fuck up other games that I've played? Uh, like Resident Evil or uh, Walking Dead Season 1 or Season 2 or uh, Survival Instinct or whatever. I mean, what kind of fuckery are they going to post? And we'll take a look at that later if I find another one that I find hilarious. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys and gals. If you like this video, give this video a like if I was fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. To get another fun of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. Boom!